Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Wady G with the G-List Society blog. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the G-Chat where I do phone interviews with our favorite LGBT personalities. And usually I only talk to one person at a time during these G-Chats, but I have two special guests on this call and you know them probably on two different, two very big reasons. One, Sunday night at the Grammys, these these two gentlemen were one of the 30-plus couples that were shown on my television being married during the Macklemore performance. And then also, too, for us, those of us who have been long fans of the DL Chronicles, I am talking with the creators themselves, DeAndre and Quincy Gosfield. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Great. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? I'm well. Just want to say thank you, and congratulations on the big day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is the first time we've been called publicly, verbally, the Gosfields. <laughs> really? Now, you, one of the questions that I've heard over the years about DL Chronicles, you know, from a fan support um, perspective, is that, um, you know, you started off by um, the season was on Here TV, right? Is that where it was shown? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it was on Here TV, and then um, then it went out to DVD release after that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, uh, one of the questions I've always heard over the years, um, especially in the black LGBT community, we've complained about, the programming of Logo, oh, it's not really LGBT programming or they only have, you know, a small percentage of black representation. Was Logo ever a consideration or was ever in discussion about um, being the um, being the channel to host um, the El Chronicle episodes? It was, but we, we, we were not, um, I think at the time, they weren't in a position to do a full-fledged show. They What they wanted to do was take it, um, redevelop it a bit, and then use it on their, what was called at the time, the click list. So they were going to mm -hmm. produce like an episode, and then they were going to wait to see what the uh, response would be before they would continue on with production. And, and like I said, in addition to that, they wanted to revamp the show a bit um, in ways that I, we weren't comfortable oh, with. No. Oh, Pure no. TV was the one that was, yeah, they were ready They were ready to take it as is, uh, keep us as the creators and directors and writers, um, uh, uh, what at the time seemed fair as a licensing fee, because we never sold the show to them, we licensed the show to them. They were also willing to do a license fee. Logo wanted to buy the show out. Um, and that puts, you know, that puts the producer in a really horrible position, unless it's, you know, unless the money is decent um, and it's fair, you you go into agreements like that, but it was you know it was it was a it was a trial and error type deal, and we didn't feel comfortable with it. Whereas here it was willing to license the show out from us, not take ownership of it, and uh, and do a full season with us with uh, with our full creative control intact. So obviously for us at the time it was a sweeter deal. Um, we just didn't know that. Uh, the network was going to fall into hard times so soon. It was a fledgling le network, um, and I think they were a little bit more ambitious than their pocketbook was a was a was able to do. Um, mm -hmm. So the you know we got signed on that second season. They 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 green with us for a second season almost immediately before the first season was even up, but they just couldn't finance it. So it was kind of like they were trying to like. Um, do scrutiny, smoke and mirrors to keep us at bay to try to figure out how we're going to get this money, and they just kept postponing the start of production date until our contract expired with them and the rights revert back, reverted back to us. So that's what happened with uh, your TV. Well, I mean, I appreciate you setting the record straight because it's just, it's just one of those things when we have a show like yours and we all gravitate to it in, in one way or another. We identify with it. We are fans with it. We want to support it all the way through. And then, oh, no more. And then, of course, you know, you guys address it on your platforms, and then everybody else has their ideas on what happens. So it's always refreshing just to, you know, do do a, just a refresher conversation on that. And, uh, 
and it's always, you know, we always want to be more supportive and because uh, we definitely want to give more, I'll definitely be getting information from you about the newer episodes, especially comics that's coming up, so we can support the campaign as well as um, the pay-per-view pay -per viewing. And um, so, you know.